Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Today I want to go through account schedules. Um, I've actually touched on dimensions and analysis views and we did like a, a long series on charts. But uh, for some reason, I've completely avoided account schedules. Uh, that was not intentional. It just somehow happened that way. Um, so I'm going to start digging into that. Uh, account schedules is uh, it, it, it's a topic that has been for a long time in, in uh, NAV. It's one of the original things um, in there, almost original. Um, even before uh, the advanced dimensions, analysis views, and all of those things, we had account schedules. It was kind of the first um, reporting, so to speak, financial reporting. And, uh, and that has evolved. And, uh, and I'm going to go into just creating a simple account schedule right now. And then I think I'll keep going with account schedules similar as I did with charts. Uh, just move on to a few videos. So stay tuned. Uh, for more things on that. But uh, I'm logged in here as the account manager, which is one of the standard roles. Um, and uh, if I click here on analysis up here on my ribbon, I will get account schedules. That's how you find them. They're not here, um, but they are in analysis. And I get here account schedules, analysis by dimensions, and analysis views. Uh, and then I can print out the account schedule. So I'm going to go into account schedules right here. And I get a list of account schedules. Um, so if you're not familiar with account schedule is, uh, basically what it is, it's a financial reporting tool inside NAV where you can create uh, reports or and live reports straight out of the chart of accounts uh, using both chart of accounts uh, posting uh, accounts as well as dimensions and, you, and now you can even add things like cash flow accounts and uh, and cost accounts from cost accounting so there there's a lot of things you can do today that you couldn't do before but I'm gonna just start with very simple since this is my first video on the topic uh, and here I have some standard uh, cash flow uh, I'm sorry standard account schedules I'm gonna create a new one I'm going to call it uh, Coffee Mug INC, which is Coffee Mug Income Statement. And it asks me for a default column layout. So when we're doing an account schedule, um, we have a list of rows, basically. And the rows are going to be posting uh, accounts or totaling accounts or something like that. But at least it will be the rows. And then we have the columns across, and we can specify both. Uh, and in this case, I'm just going to pick uh, something that's right out of the box here, balance only. That's going to show me the balance uh, of those accounts that I'm picking. And that is my default, meaning that that's what it's going to set up when you open it up. You can, of course, add more and, and change it around. So here I go into Edit Account Schedule. And I get this uh, worksheet type form. Um, and here is where I actually start putting in the rows. And, and you can put a lot of different rows in here. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, keep it simple, is I'm going to just pull things out of the chart of accounts. Um, and there's a really neat way now to do it. I can actually come here and say insert GL accounts. And then I get my chart of accounts in here. So. I have a pretty big chart of accounts, as you can see. This is from the standard demo that comes uh, with an AV called Cronus. And uh, so instead of uh, cherry picking accounts here, I'm just going to take um, all of the accounts that are greater than 40,000. So I'll just put in a filter 40,000 dot dot. We should give me all accounts greater than 40,000. You can see that now I filtered this view. 
and then I'm going to just select everything here, right? So you see everything is selected, and I hit OK. Bada boom. So OK, I get all of the uh, the posting accounts, including the total accounts, onto my account schedule right here. Okay, so what I've done effectively is moved, uh, or not moved, I just copied those into an account schedule, which I can then report on. So if I hit here overview, I can see the live number. This is the number right now in the system, balance number, of all of those accounts. And uh, so that's pretty neat. That is kind of like the coolest thing about this because we're not supposed to be printing out all the time you know just let's save some paper you know <laughs> it's uh, we can just be looking at things on screen um, and anyways it's live and it has interactivity so for example if I'm interested in knowing uh, what was in sales retail domestic I can click on that here and click and drill into that and it's gonna give me the account that it makes up that number, which is the 44100. If I want to see then the details of that account, I can then drill in just like any of allows to the actual uh, entries. So like if you're building a financial statement for the C-level, you know, some uh, CEO or CEO, and they don't care about the chart of accounts, they want to see a shrunken um, version of the chart of accounts, you can basically create a financial statement like this. So let me manipulate it a little bit. If I hit OK here, let's say I am not interested in knowing um, the details of jobs. I just want to see the total sales of jobs. So I can just take this out and leave the total sales of job in here. So I just delete like that. That's not going to change my numbers because I have the total in here. Um, also, uh, I don't want to see the contract sales, just see totals. So I delete that out. Uh, maybe I want to see, uh, actually, no one wants to see that. Take that out. Mostly interested in uh, sales of retail, right? Okay. Um, and this one here. Take that out. So, right now, we have uh, cleaned this up a little bit. So I have total sales of jobs, total sales of contracts, I have a listed out total sales of raw material right here and listed out the total sales of retail. And uh, let's clean up the cost a little bit. So the cost of capacities I might not be interested in. Like that. And let's say the cost of raw materials I'm not interested in. Like that. Okay, so I made some adjustments um, and I can then go ahead and hit overview again and you can see I've compressed these. So there was nothing going on in sales of jobs, nothing going on in sales of service contracts. But in sales of raw materials, we have that here. Um, retail obviously here and then we have these extra things um, and then the total. So we are basically just manipulating the uh, the account schedule, which is grabbing stuff from chart of accounts to make it look pretty on here. A um, couple of other things. So there's formatting things, of course, you can do. Let's say we don't want to see this negative. Uh, you know, if you're in accounting, you understand that this is credit and negative is good. But if you're not in accounting, you go like, wait a minute, we didn't lose 12 uh, million, did we? Um, so to change that around, you can just basically say show opposite sign. So I can just go ahead and say I want opposites on all of this and these guys as well. 
and this, and here, and then I have that all turned around, and now I have this, oops, I forgot here, 44 or 500, and let's just fix that, that one here, and I've changed it around. So these are kind of the basic things uh, you can do with uh, account schedules. Uh, I'm going to start moving into the column layouts in the next video. Um, but I hope this should get you started. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.